This room is reserved, Off-Worlder. I suggest you leave the room, Off-Worlder. I've got all the fans I need right here. So go space yourself. This room is reserved, Off-Worlder. Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and her leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else.
Por na që një sot të marran ka do rrisë sa vota, kohonën me, su që të laba që ka më tuqë për të këqoka. U tërë që një sot bava ta, rëne që bukasa, që në kiqi në ma boja la muqa, Ava dhëmë ma sura ku, po pa i po të një, ta që në rëthë të në sa, që avas ko bo së pëqo, në që i sa kërve nuk së, në që që sa së të ndi e. Ava dhëmë ma sura ku, po pa i po të një, ta që në rëthë të në sa, që avas ko bo së pëqo, në që i sa kërve nuk së, në që që sa së të ndi e. Ava dhëmë ma sura ku, po pa i po të një, ta që më rëtë ka në sa, që avas ko bo së pëqo, në që i sa kërve nuk së, më që të zha së grëndi e. Su në ranga ma qërqane, do të lutë, pa të krejnë së që që në, që vëndido, dronë që të jëba, më rëtë gëma na, këva qëpë që, mos ka një, një ki mëtë ma mëtë ka. No kuma randi sa ma chiksa Kuja ba tong kinka ma ta kate Choba wanga kun na ka yutka kes Ta hupu bo te nyo go rucho pichu Wain ta ba ni sotru Nërëtaka përto në lala shishi Dura të sa gjiba qa Ma ta më nësa Do kosha ma chitoni Ava dhëmë ma sura ku, po pa i po të një, ta që më rëthë ka në sa, që avas ko bo së pëqo, në që i sa kërë e nuk së, më që të zha së grëndi e. Të verin në qarë, jo nëna shqitasa qëfë. 
Puro nos marana. Potaga, yo voy que coco la gigi. Yo veré nincha, yo no nos chita sa chu. I heard you held your own against Nico. Not an easy feat. This room is reserved, off-worlder. I suggest you leave the room. It's the Bazak Shark. No more games for me. I know when I've been beat. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? That would be Bohemus SOD2. Uh, no, SOD3. Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still small money. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dweller shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Celio. There was nothing we could do, of course. She was dead. This room is reserved, Off-Worlder. 
<laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamoran. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. He might have even bought some. Kawanabota yuta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosana nansa ta. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawanabota yuta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosana nansa ta. It's the Bazak Shark. No more games for me. I know when I've been beat. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. 
It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulia, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a man... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. But there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sullio was killed. And he did not have an alibi. And I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Ghent out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but... We all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had death in the class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Wrong place, wrong time. Captain Sulio and I were acquaintances. I just happened to be too close when she got dead. Real shame. She wasn't bad to look at. She could drink. No, and at this point, I don't care. Just glad to be free. She's dead now. Not like finding whoever did it will bring her back. I deal with death all the time. We all end up like her eventually. We go way back, way before he became Mandalore. In my experience, Mandalorians always know about the doctors around. For some strange reason, they keep getting into scrapes. You want to know more? Ask him yourself. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fall. I know a few people there. Who do you need to get in touch with? Nobody knows for sure, but everybody thinks that General Vakum has to have something to do with it. They're keeping the attempts quiet, but that place is locked down tight. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a master there, I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise i tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is quick.
cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information. People I know, you don't just walk up and chat with. It's a procedure, and that holodisk has the procedure. The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as dreadful leather and more dangerous than an angry rookie. You take Mandalore with you, though. You should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted all the disc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. <laughs>